What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So shit is about to go down in this episode. We <laughs> I went and trained up my guys here. Check this out. I'm gonna give you a nice little rundown of the team. So I evolved Berg and then used the two rare candies on him and then I trained him up quite a bit. He's he's looking he's he's a nice ice ball with some horns. You don't want to fuck with this guy unless you want to get hit by the horns. Uh, he I taught him Earthquake and he learned Crunch, so that's actually pretty helpful. Other than that, Ice Fang and Earthquake and Crunch, you know, kind of going to be his, his main moves. So he's level 46. He's looking all right, you know what I mean? Then we got Big Gulp, who's looking generally the same. I gave him the Mystic Water just because I felt like Mystic Water would be probably pretty helpful for his Hydro Pumps and Surfs. So that's that's Big Gulp, level 52. Then we got Pinhead, level 53, carrying the Rocky Helmet still, you know, looking swag in his Rocky Helmet. I uh, He actually learned Quiver Dance. Check this out. He learned Quiver Dance. I honestly had no clue Masquerade even learned Quiver Dance, but I think he learned it at like 51, so that's pretty helpful. We're going to be able to uh, turn into a beast after we use that a couple times, so that's pretty sweet. Then we have Cornelius, level 50. I actually taught Cornelius Flamethrower just because I figured I only have five overheats, so it might have been a, you know, it's, it's always a good idea to have a couple, a couple more fire moves around, so that's pretty cool. He's going to probably be mainly using Discharge and stuff like that, so that's our Mega, mega Cornelius there. Then we have our Mega Sceptile, who um, is generally looking, you know, kind of the same here, level 51, so, yeah. Then, the Beast, Drunky. At level 51, I gave him a Silk Scarf, that way it's an item that raises the power of normal type moves. So his Dizzy Punch and Double Edge are going to be able to do a lot more, so that's some fun stuff. And I actually went and EV trained Drunky in, <laughs> in physical attack, just because I figured, you know, he, his attack was not the best, so... Yeah, Drunkie's, Drunkie's looking pretty solid. So anyways, let's get this show on the road. I feel like my team's pretty solid. I went and bought some full restores and stuff like that, so... Please permit us to evaluate your worthiness, trainer. Alright, cool. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokémon, and go forth. We are about to enter the Elite Four, and holy hell... This is crazy. What, what the hell is this? What is floating around? Looks like some leaves or something. Some ash, I don't even I don't even know, but this place looks fucking crazy. I really like how they changed this. This is awesome. Oh shit, and the doors slowly creep open. <clears throat> and we are about to battle the first member of the Elite Four, who's gonna be Sydney, and he's the dark type trainer. So that's pretty cool. Hold on, is there any, can I can I walk around over this way? There's nothing okay, there's nothing over here. Anything over here? Okay, no. So let's hop in here, see what's going on. And oh shit, there's Sydney. Chilling on his chair, just waiting for someone to come in. Seems like a pretty boring job, if you ask me. Just sitting there, Elite Four member, waiting for motherfuckers. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. Still got your weird little hair. I see, I see. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick Masquerade in front, because bug moves are going to be very helpful against this guy. So this, this actually probably shouldn't be too hard. Let's see what happens here. Sup, guy? I like that look you're giving me. I guess it'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, let's get down to the kind of battle that can happen only here in the Pokemon League. He's looking swagged out. Okay, alright, so, this is Sydney. Pretty swell guy. And oh shit, they actually show you a little, little preview of all the Elite Four members. That's pretty sick. I like this. This is awesome. So, Sydney's gonna be leading off with a Mighty Enna. Just as I remembered, in the background of this battle scene, looks sick as fuck. Oh man, this is. This is too cool. Alright, so. We're probably gonna intimidate each other, which is which is kinda weird. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we definitely intimidate each other, so that's that's cool. Um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking a bug buzz might honestly honestly just do the trick here. Let's see what happens, see if this see if this kills it. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that that is an easy kill. That that fucking Mightyena did not even know what hit him. The wrath of Pinhead prevails. Alright, next is an Absol. I kind of am remember this, remembering this guy's team. That's pretty sweet. I like this guy's team. I'm all about dark, dark types. It's fucking pretty cool. So, we know we're just gonna go ahead and give this thing a bug buzz as well. See if that, see if that does the trick. Holy shit! And, oh my god, I'm only one level higher. The Masquerade is too powerful the, for these dark types, man. Holy shit! Next is, next is a Shiftry. This is, this is ridiculous. This is too easy. I'm gonna be able to definitely kill this thing in one bug buzz. Shiftry does not enjoy bug moves, so he's gonna go for a fake out. Gonna get hit with that rocky helmet though, ha! How do you like that? Not too, not, not too good. All right, so one bug buzz is definitely gonna kill it. All this thing, <laughs> I, I have a feeling I'm just gonna be able to sweep this guy's, this guy's team entirely. That is a bummer for him. Next is a Sharpedo. 
Will you switch Pokemon? No, because my Masquerade is fucking beasting it right now. Ain't got no reason to switch. I'm gonna give this thing a bug buzz. Please kill it. Please kill it. Oh, okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Easy kill. Masquerade is just tearing through this guy's team right now. This is ridiculous. We're gonna go to level 54. Next is a Cacturn. All right. So. Wow. This was. <laughs> I used five bug bugs. Five bug buzzes. Five kills. Could not have gone any better. That is what I am talking about, Masquerade. Okay. So. That was like the easiest battle ever. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Yeah, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I bet that was real fun, just getting destroyed by a, by a masquerade, you know? Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go a long way. Go on to the next room and challenge your next battle. Okay, all right. So, let's go ahead and, you know, we probably don't even need to heal up. Fuck it, let's just, let's just keep on going. We got some, we got some purple stuff. I like it, I like it. Is this next? I think it's Phoebe that's next or something like that. We got some spirits going into the windows. It lights them up. That's pretty cool. Spooky. So spooky. Oh my god. Alrighty. So. Let's enter this scary ass dark looking room. What is up? Alright, so this Hawaiian girl. It's pretty powerful. You know, let's let's put Berg in front because I did I do actually have crunch on this guy. So that is probably gonna come in handy. So let's see what's uh awaiting us here. What's up? Ha ha ha! I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. Sweet. What's going on, Phoebe? I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Is that so? That's 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 pretty interesting, Phoebe. The bond I, I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try to see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. All right, we're gonna give it our, we're gonna give it our best shot, Phoebe. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. All right, so second member of the Elite Four, about to get destroyed. That was a pretty sweet little intro. I'll give you that, Phoebe. All right, he's gonna lead off with a Dusclops. These things, oh god, these things are just absolutely annoying. Alright, I think she actually has I think she has a couple of these. I don't, I don't know. It's level 51. And it actually has pressure, so it, it, it ruins our power points and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna hit this thing with a crunch though. See how much this does. Here we go, Glalie. Oh yeah, solid two hit KO. Now it's gonna confuse Ray. Alright. Of freaking course. Wouldn't be a Dusclops if it wasn't annoying as hell. So if we can just go ahead and just not hit ourselves, that'd be just fantastic. Yes, thank you, Berg! Thank you for just going ahead and just not hitting yourself like a dumbass. All right, so Dusclops number one has been defeated. For getting that solid experience. Next is a Sableye. Sableye, Sableye. <laughs> All right, level 51 Sableye. Um, I'm gonna Ice Fang. I'm gonna Ice Fang this bitch, and I'm gonna get a freeze. I'm gonna get a freeze. I'm gonna call it. Don't hurt yourself though. Okay, never mind. Complete opposite. Bird fucking hit himself, and now it's gonna hit me with a foul play. Well, shit, that, uh, that is definitely going to do way too much damage. Let's, let's see here. What should I, what should I do? I'm going to go into Cornelius. Cornelius is a fucking beast. Be able to do some solid damage with this guy. I'm going to save Berg for later. Now it's going to go for a power gem. Oh, shit. Luckily, this thing doesn't want to Mega Evolve. But guess what? I'm going to Mega Evolve, though, motherfucker. And I am going to discharge your ass. Let me just uh, let me just turn real pointy real quick. Oh yeah, nice and pointy, just the way I like my Manectrum. Okay, Cornelius. I ain't gonna get an Intimidate off on this thing. I totally forgot about that. All right, Discharge, level 51 Sableye. Oh shit, that did a lot of damage. That did a buttload of damage. Although the foul play actually also still hurts. Now it's probably gonna full restore. No, yep, yep. Freaking Phoebe, coming out here with a damn full restore, like a McAsshole. It's all right, though. And just a couple more discharges. So, okay, got that paralyze on that one. Hell yeah. Now you know what? I'm gonna kill you with a bite, just, just because. Oh, what the fuck? She's gonna full restore again. Really? How many full restores you got, Phoebe? Already using them up early in the battle. 
So Bite does enough to the point where this Discharge is actually going to kill this thing. So you know that kind of worked out. And the Sableye is dead as hell. Alright, alright. Solid job, Cornelius. Gonna go out to level 51. I wasn't actually honestly too sure on how much to level my guys, but I figured I, this, was a, this was a pretty decent levels I got my guys at, I guess. Next is a Banette. You know what? I should have I should have probably switched, but I wonder how much a Discharge will do. It'll probably be a 2 at KO, honestly, and I don't think this Banette can kill me. Oh my god! Knocked it down to red, and got the Parahax, and I avoided the Toxic. Is it my birthday right now? Seriously. <laughs> now I could actually go for a bite. I didn't go for it initially because I don't have a lot of physical attack and stuff, so you know what? Good enough. Good enough. Discharge did the job. Next is another Banette. Alright, let's switch here. Let's get this shit going, Bird. Make yourself useful. Alright, so another level 51 Banet. You know what? I might as well go for a little... I'm just gonna go for a Hyper Potion. I wanna see what this thing's gonna do. It's probably not gonna be able to do too much to me, although I'm I am only level 46. I got I got sick and tired of growing Berg. I was like, you know what? Screw it. 46 is good enough. As a Shadow Ball. Alright, it's not a two-hit KO, so that's some damn solid news. Now I can bite this thing. Just bite your bayonet right to the face. And that is a one-hit kill. Here we go, Glalie. Putting in work. Next is a Dusknoir. Oh shit, they gave her a Dusknoir. Sick. I think she just had... Did she not just have two... Dusclops earlier before? Like in the early games? I don't know. Pretty sure, yeah, she definitely didn't have a Dusknoir. That's obviously a given. And uh, the Crunch is not going to be... Oh shit, this motherfucker has a fire punch? Oh well. Berg lived it. Holy shit. Can you believe that? You know what? I'm gonna give Berg. I'm gonna let, make Berg freaking kill this thing. Lower. Th I'm gonna go ahead and just like raise my, uh, my, my Berg self esteem here. Make it feel like. Make, make her feel like she's. She's real helpful. Fire punch, uh, okay, to the face, and. Oh damn it, it does look like it's gonna be. Oh, and I get burned. That is just terrible. That is just. Wow. Wow. Well, alright, Berg, doesn't look like you want to, uh, kill this thing today. So, you know what? Let's see. I was, gonna, I was gonna go into Drunky. I do have Sucker Punch. I could Sucker Punch this thing. That's, like, the only thing I could do, though. So, you know what? Sorry about that, Drunky. Gonna have to save you for later. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Big Gulp. Predict the Fire Punch. Switch into the Resistance. Alright. As long as you just... Okay, that's not gonna do shit. Just don't get a burn. Thank you. Alright, so now... Let's hit this motherfucker with a Hydro Pump. Oh yeah, first time actually using Hydro Pump with Big Gulp. And that is going to kill the ghosty guy. So, damn, fucking buttload of experience. Berg grows to level 47, and Phoebe has been defeated. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. <laughs> you done fucked up, Phoebe. You gone done fucked up. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. Alright. We are just moving on up here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get another... Let's, let's let's get some... Some damn medicine to these witches. We're gonna go ahead and give Berg Bur a full, re full restore. Get him back to full health. Oh shit. We're gonna get rid of that damn burn. Give Corn Cornelius a full restore. And we're looking solid enough. Let's continue. So what is this next place? Looks like a nice and nice snowy, snowy area. Oh, it's oh, it's that what lady that has a glaley, glacier or whatever. Holy shit! There's a damn snowstorm going on inside. How the hell did they, how did they simulate this? It's like a damn freezer room. Holy shit! All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Oh yeah. So, who the hell should we? lead off with here. Let's, you know, let's put Drunky in front. Just because why the fuck not? I actually don't have, you know, I, you know, it might be a better idea to lead off with Cornelius because I have Flamethrower and Overheat, but you know what? Drunky needs some damn action already. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that my hone, so I may hone my Ice-type moves. Cool. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. Oh, you, you, you motherfucker, you about to... Ain't even gonna know what hit you, Glacier. What a relief it would be if I could for once have a serious battle against an opponent. Oh, I'll give you a serious battle. 
Don't you worry. She, su she suffers from resting bitch face. Glacia is like a total bitch. So, Glacia, let's do this shit. She's gonna lead off with the Glalie. I think she actually, I remember her having like two Glalies too or something, I don't know. But, Glalie number one, let's see what, dr what Drunky can do to this thing. So it's level 52. Not too bad. I'm gonna try to hypnosis it. Let's see. Let's see if this works. It's gonna set up a hail, so that's actually quite annoying. Now it's gonna be hailing inside. And nobody likes hail, you know. Oh shit! I hit hypnosis first try. Look at that. Spinda for MVP. So that's pretty awesome. Although I'm gonna be getting hit by some hail. Screw it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's dizzy punch this bitch. So you fast asleep, like a little bitch ice rock. I mean, my Glalie is way cooler. Obviously, and Dizzy Punch does a decent amount, except, you know, maybe, what if you, you think a double edge will kill it? Let's go for it. Screw it. Still sleeping, like a little pussy. And let's double edge this bitch. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That damage with that silk, silk scarf. Although I hurt myself, and now I'm going to get hurt by some hail. So, you know, in the long run, Drunky kind of got fucked up, but whatever. Next is a Frost Lash. Oh shit, let's stay in here. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sucker punch this thing, see if he wants to attack. Nope, shit, doesn't want to attack. I got that own tempo though, you can't confuse me, Frostlass. You can't confuse my Drunky. Drunky's already confused as it is, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna sucker punch it. This probably isn't gonna do too much, but hey, solid damage right there. Oh fucking, it hits me with a blizzard, which is easily gonna kill Drunky. So, you know what, hey, at least you got a sucker punch off, you fucked up that other Glalie, see, so shit. Good times. Good times. Blizzard has 100% accuracy in the in the hail, which is why that didn't miss. So that's kind of damn lame. But all right, Frostlass, prepare to get melted. Because my electric type, for some reason, has fire moves. Hell yeah, I have more fire moves on this guy than I do electric. But whatever, Cornelius, do what he wants. Next is another Frostlass. All right, Frostlass numero dos. I'm gonna go ahead and flamethrower this motherfucker too. Ain't even need to mega evolve. Oh, it doesn't kill it. Maybe I should have gone for the overheat. Well, shit. It's going to set up a hail again. Oh, God. So much hail. So little time. Freaking Cornelius, man. Cornelius is like, why the hell? I hate hail. <laughs> why in the hell would you use hail? Straight up. So it full restores. Flamethrower is actually going to kill it that time with a critical hit. That is what I am talking about. Awesome. Okay. So... <laughs> Cornelius is putting in work. I might as well stay in and overheat whatever is next. It's a wall ring. Oh shit, actually, you know, this this kind of this kind of works out. Level 54. Holy tits. I'm gonna discharge yo bitch ass. Oh yeah, solid damage now. Oh fuck he did what? What the hell is that, Glacia? You can't just be pulling out one hit KOs on a brother like that. What the fuck? Well, okay, I just died to a sheer cold. Well, that is um pretty damn unfortunate. Pretty damn unfortunate. I'm gonna bring in Pinhead. I'm thinking what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to probably heal or revive up Cornelius if I wanna stand a chance here. Jesus. So let's go ahead and uh, revives and are we revives? Yeah, there we go. All right, we got 19 of these bitches. We should be solid. Gonna revive up Cornelius here. This thing's gonna hit me with a blizzard, and that is going to destroy Pinhead. Holy shit! We are getting to the part of the of the Elite Four where shit shit got real. Shit got real real quick. So bring back out my Cornelius. Now I can discharge you one more time. And your level 54 wall ring is dead, and that is that is ridiculous level right there. Holy shit! I'm only wondering what the hell the champion has. Jesus. So the hail stops. That's cool. Next is her last Glalie, so that's awesome. All right, level 52 Glalie. You know what, I'm pissed off, so I'm just gonna go for an overheat. And that is going to easily kill you. Oh yeah. Wait, what the fuck? I totally thought that was gonna kill it. Well, okay, I, I look like an idiot here. I apologize for that, and all right, so I lost. Well, shit, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. Hopefully she just doesn't wanna go for a full restore. That would just be that would be fantastic. Just go ahead and just don't. Uh, d damn it! Come on now. Why you gotta do that? It's like you know I'm gonna beat you. At this point, it's a lost cause. 
So now since I lost that special attack for my fucking overheat, I should have just flamethrowered in the first place. I'm blowing it, man. I am blowing it. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go into my own Glalie. Just because I can. And I'm gonna see what this thing's gonna do. Plus, I'm not gonna get hurt by hail. He tried to protect like a little pussy-ass bitch. I'm gonna crunch you. Just to see how much this this does. We got a little Glalie battle going on here, and uh, alright, that's not gonna do too much at all. Now it's gonna hit me with a freeze dry. Okay, alright. Hmm. So I'm wondering. I'm predicting the protect here. Watch. It's gonna go for a protect. I'm gonna be able to safely switch in my Cornelius, and then I can kill it with a flamethrower if everything goes according to plan. Yes! Holy shit, I don't know how I predicted that, but just generally, after they attack, they kinda tend to protect. It's pretty funny. Anyways! One more flamethrower is going to kill the Glalie. And we have defeated Glacia. Alright. As Cordelius is going to grow to level 52, that's nice because we're going to need all the levels we can freaking get at this point. Holy tits. Alright. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. They all look totally different in the artwork on like the after battle scene. You and your Pokemon, how fiercely your spirits burn. My icy moves pale in the face of such all-consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There we learn how to... F learn how... Here's some of the Pokemon League can truly be. Alright. So now we are about to battle the Dragon Dude, Drake. That's... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's gonna be... This might be a little bit difficult, considering my Glalie is not the highest level. You know? It could be, could be a little higher, but... Whatever. We're gonna revive Drunky. Oh, no. And we're also going to revive Pinhead. And then we're gonna give these guys some Hyper Potions. Make everybody feel all better. Damn it, I always use it twice on the same Pokemon. Alright. Alright, so we're looking healthy. Hopefully, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and switch, uh... Put Berg's bitch ass in front. Although, I think a lot of his dragons have Flamethrower, which is gonna be... Not that fun. Oh shit, there's hot lava on this one. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is gonna be hell intense. Oh, God. Some, like, solar flare looking things light up this room. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. They all, all these rooms have different ways that, like, they get lit up. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Alright, let's enter this shit. Let's just go for it. What's going on, man? Well, hello there, Captain. I'm the last of the Pokemon League, Elite Four, Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle alongside Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? Why, yes I do. Love. <laughs> if you don't, you will never prevail over me. Alright. So, Captain Drake over here. It's gonna be the hardest of the four battles, obviously. And I don't know how well I'm gonna do against this motherfucker. He's got a, he's gonna lead off with an Altaria. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so he has five Pokemon, just like the rest of them. Level 53 Altaria. Holy titties. I'm gonna go ahead and out... How the fuck did I outspeed this thing? I have no clue. Either way, an Ice Fang is gonna easily kill the Altaria. Four times weak, bitch. That's what I'm talking about, Berg. Alright, next is a Flygon. Alright. Let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to outspeed this thing. Okay, yep. It definitely outspeeds me. Hits me with a flamethrower. Berg can live that, though. Oh, no. You gotta be shitting me. I get burned from that. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, but yes, I got a freeze on him. Yes. <laughs> that is hilarious. It knocks... The burn's gonna knock me down to 18 HP. But that is actually fine, because since this thing is frozen as fuck, I'm gonna go ahead and full restore, get rid of the burn, and put myself back to full health. And that's actually pretty nice. Okay, so we're both gonna full restore. Okay, I see how it is, Drake. You're gonna copy my style then, huh? Alright. So Berg's gonna get it nice and back to full health. And hopefully I don't get burned from this next flamethrower. Oh, it used... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck it used Screech? Okay, so this, this Flygon was just asking to die. And now, it paid the con... It pa paid the price. With an ice bang, ice bang to the fucking face. As Berg now grows to level 48. Wants to learn Blizzard. Oh, shit. Let's actually... Let's get rid of Freeze Dry for that. Actually... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna use Blizzard. Berg's a physical attacker. This thing's fucking adamant. It would be a lot better to just have Freeze Dry. Maybe for the occasional, like... 
water type or something. I don't know. Anyways, another Flygon. This one's level 53. And guess what? I'm gonna Ice Fang Yo Ass 2. He's gonna hit me with a Rock Slide. That's gonna hurt. No, that is going to hurt like a bitch. As Berg is definitely gonna die. So, that's a... That's a bummer. Fuck. Sorry, Berg. Totally didn't think about rock moves. Shit on my tits. Alright, big gulp. Now's your time to shine. Let's hit this thing with the Hydro Pump. Gonna go for a Super Sonic, and I hit the Hydro Pump. We are two for two for Hydro Pumps. That is what I'm talking about. That actually didn't didn't do as much as I had freaking hoped. But if I hit this next one, we're gonna be stoked. Holy shit, I missed another Super Sonic, and I hit my other Hydro Pump. I am the luckily, luckiest man alive right now. So your Flygon goes down as Big Gulp grows to level 53. Fuck yes. Last is a Salamence. Alright. Alright, Salamence. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into Pinhead just so I can get an Intimidate off on this thing. And the Intimidate is probably gonna help quite a bit because I think this thing likes to Dragon Claw and do stuff of that nature. We're actually gonna Intimidate each other though, so that's so that's rather interesting. Okay. Alright, no, actually wait, no, there's two Pokemon left. Sorry, I, I apologize. I'm an idiot. Alright. It's gonna go for a Dragon Rush. Oh shit. That's definitely gonna hurt. As, okay, it does it about half, and then it gets hurt by the Rocky Helmet, which, which is perfect, as I'm, now I'm able to go for a Quiver Dance. Here we go, Masquerade. Let's do this shit. Now I'm gonna hit you with another Air Slash, or with one Air Slash, see how this, see how this does. Maybe I can get a flinch, that would be awesome. Flinch, but yes, I avoided the next Dragon Rush, you gotta be shitting me. You have got to, oh, but then, it, but then I have missed my fucking Air Slash, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, Salamence, you McAsshole. I'm gonna get hurt by my Rocky Helmet though, so that's at least that's good. Shit. This is this is this is sketchy. See, I wish I had a dragon move on Little Rue. That would be pretty helpful. Pretty damn helpful indeed. Um You know what would be hilarious if I kill the Salamence with Drunky. I'm gonna see if this can happen. We'll go ahead and hit this thing with a double edge. Oh, what the fuck? He used a full restore already? Come on, homie, you were at yellow health. Ain't nobody need a full restore at that health. You gotta be kidding me. Although, a double edge does a fuck ton of damage. Look at that damage. I'm gonna go for it again. As he's gonna hit me with a dragon rush. rush. Come on, Binda, you can live this shit. Yes, I lived it with 7 HP. I'm gonna kill myself with this, with this double edge. But I killed the Salamence with a Spinda. Yes. Great success. Although, you know, Drunky, you died for a good cause, you know? Thank you. Thank you for that. So we got one more Pokemon left. What is it going to be? Oh, it's a Kingdra. Okay, alright, alright, Kingdra. What's going on? Level 53 Kingdra. So, Cornelia should be able to do the trick here. I'm going to hit it with a Discharge. Wait, is Discharge neutral against drag Dragon Water? I, th I, think it I think it is. Kingdra's always fucking mindfuck me for some reason. So, I'm going to Mega Evolve. <clears throat> Get a nice little Intimidate going in case this Kingdra for some reason wants to use a physical attack. I don't freaking know. So, yeah, Discharge is neutral, and it's looking like a 2-8 KO. Now it's gonna go for a Yawn. I didn't even know Kingdra could use Yawn. H how does Kingdra Yawn? He's got, like, a, a tube for a mouth. That, that's weird. Anyways, one more Discharge is... Oh, it's gonna leave it at 1 HP! As now, Cornelius falls asleep. You got to be shitting on my tits. Well, guess what? I'm just gonna bring out freaking Little Root here. Because ain't nobody got time for waiting to wake up. Drake's probably gonna full restore. Okay, nope, never mind. Just gonna hit me with a surf then. Okay. That is fine. Little Root will just soak that up. Okay. Alright, um. I. Since you. <laughs> I'm gonna use Cut. See, yes, I just killed a Kingdra with Cut. I don't even know why my Sceptile still has Cut. But Thug Life, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was an awesome battle. That was pretty cool. Superb! It should be said. Received $8,800 for winning, and that was. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, was the Elite Four. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a Pokemon trainer. You do, you do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is true. And what you say, okay, cool, you big words, fuck you. <laughs> Go onward, the champion is waiting. Alright guys, next episode, we are going to battle the Pokemon League champion. It's about to get real.